This toddler may encounter a life-threatening challenge now treatable because a spark of an idea was successfully translated into clinical care. History offers thousands of examples of life-saving innovations. These days, a lot of research is focused on personalizing the treatment of diseases rather than assuming that one regimen will work for all patients. For example, the treatment of medulloblastoma. Neurologist Scott Pomeroy has discovered that this fast-growing brain cancer can be grouped into six subtypes. They act like different diseases and will need to be treated differently. Effective innovation, from brainstorm to bedside, is not for the faint of heart. Success is often measured in decades, not years. There are setbacks and skeptics. It requires courage and persistence. At least it all feels good on this side. Do you have any pain back in here? Dr. Martha Murray, an orthopedic surgeon, has spent her entire career developing a better treatment for a torn ACL. This injury leads to premature arthritis in over 75% of patients within 15 years, even with current surgical treatments. Over the past two decades, Dr. Murray has discovered a gel that spurs healing, proved it worked in animals, and is now looking for ways to bring this technology to patients. People have used the term valley of death to describe that gap between a great scientific breakthrough and translating it to the bedside. To me, that term's always been somewhat misleading, like you could simply build a bridge and go across. The clinical innovation is more like trying to hike across the Sahara, continually hoping that that next oasis actually has water and isn't just a mirage. Successful innovation requires collaboration between clinical innovators, industry, and investors. When they work together, scientific discoveries can be translated into life-transforming treatments for patients around the world. <laughs>